iconic moment packs the biggest mystery within the PES mobile community. I've seen a lot of YouTubers cover this pack but have never seemed to crack the code as to if the packs are actually randomized or if Konami doesn't give you your desired player on purpose. We start with the packs. Let's take the most recent Iconic Moment pack, which is the Arsenal Iconic Moment pack. This is a pack that contains 3 Iconic Moment legends, alongside 102 other players being silver and gold walls. And according to Konami, the preset probability of getting a black ball in this pack is 20%. That means for every 5 pulls, you should theoretically obtain a black ball. But from that black ball, you have a 20% chance of actually getting an iconic moment player. Now, imagine you open the pack 15 times and get no black balls. Would you say that this was scripted? Imagine opening the pack three times and getting three different iconic moment players. Would you now say that it's randomized and you were completely lucky? Would you now be happy with Konami? I particularly had a few issues with iconic moments packs, mainly because it has so many players to obtain as well as the fact that duplicates were possible, so that makes the pack even harder to open. Let's look at it from this perspective. If it was easy to get Iconic Moment players, and you still missed out on your Iconic Moment favorite player that, you know, people say have basically broken the game, Everybody would have that player or almost everybody that you play would have that player So let's say you're going after Patrick Vera and you got Saul Campbell and Gilberto Silva, but you didn't get Patrick Vera Almost everyone on the online scene would have him because most persons are just lucky like that Maybe they got Patrick Vera and didn't get Saul Campbell While you got Saul Campbell and Gilberto Silva, but because you were looking for Patrick Vera, you're saying Oh my god, this pack is so this pack is so scripted, why is it so against me? But at the end of the day, it's not like Konami knows that this is the particular icon of woman player that you want because it's not like at the first part of it you submitted and said, okay, Konami, I want Saul Campbell or okay, Konami, I want icon of woman Patrick Vera. No, they know that you want an icon of woman player, but as to which, which one it is, it's very hard to really choose or it's very hard to really say that they purposely don't give you the player that you want. It can be said that they purposely don't give you icon moment players, but who knows? Well, as it relates to you getting an icon moment player that you didn't want, it's not like Konami knew that you wanted icon moment Vera, if you get what I'm trying to say. If everyone got their desired players, then everyone would have a full icon moment side and PES would eventually die down because most persons would become bored of it. As most persons were just in it to ascertain players. It's like when you finally beat the boss level on Mortal Kombat. You're basically finished with the game because you've already gone through all the highs and lows. You've already endured what you need to endure. And you basically have no purpose left in the game because it's not everyone is going to try and be ranked in the world top 10 or top 100. Not everyone is going to go 2000 ranking. So. Most persons just play the game to obtain their favorite cards, their favorite players, and you know, to play friendlies against their friends. Most persons don't play it for the competition of online against other persons. People play games for different purposes. So you have the people out there that are like that, and that's quite understandable. So, I understand why the pack is set up like that. It is made to keep most players, whether free to play or pay to win, on the edge of their seats hoping that the next pull is going to be that special pull. And this is what keeps us coming back. This is what causes the persons who keep buying coins to keep purchasing. As with every pull, we feel we have a chance of pulling an iconic moment player. So let's imagine this. Let's say for instance, Konami actually has this on random, right? They have literally set things to be in random and are making so much money off of it because persons are constantly purchasing coins to ascertain players when it's completely random so you have just the same chance as you started out with before because there's the possibility of getting duplicates you basically reset every single time every single time so every single time you pull so the 10 so let's say for instance you pull the pack 10 times and you're about to pull it 10 more times it basically reset because though you can get by those identical 10 pulls again and Konami is making money off of that and how they're making money off of free to play players now is that they give they set and give us match days in order to play 
and get coins. The more time you spend on the game is the more money that they make. So technically us free to play players are actually paying them as well. So at the end of the day, it's a win-win for them. Some players even get desperate enough to go on YouTube searching for fake pack tricks that won't even work. As it relates to Konami, I have no idea if it is indeed scripted, but more evidence would lean towards it being randomized. We as humans usually complain because we do not get the required players, but when we look at our teams, it contains players that someone else around the world, out there, would want and pay hundreds of dollars to obtain. So just appreciate what you have and keep trying. If not, you can be like the guy's friend on Reddit who spent 19,000 coins just to obtain Ronaldinho. Boy, I really hope that card lives up to his expectations because after spending 19,000 coins, that's about $360 US. So that's just an estimate still, it's not accurate. But what I'm saying is that if I was the one who purchased you know, that card, honestly, that card would have to be able to play goalkeeper, center back, center mid, defensive mid, attacking mid, strike and second strike all at one time because imagine purchasing or imagine spending so much coins to get that player and that player does not live up to my expectation that player is complete rubbish i would probably quit the game <laughs> but that wasn't pessy's fault it wasn't konami's fault konami didn't say yo come spend 19,000 coins on ronaldino and it's not like when you purchase the coin because okay maybe he got the other Icon Moment players all six or seven times out of the umpteen amount of pulls that he did because that's about what, 190 pulls I believe if we're supposed to calculate that 20% of 190 pulls is 38 so therefore it, theoretically he had 38 black balls that he got in that pack out of that 38 black ball more than likely because 20% of 38 is 7.6 more than likely 8 of those players were Icon Moment players so at the end of the day, more than likely he did get the other two um, Icon of Moment players, uh, which are which were Deco and I don't remember who the third one was. But what I'm saying is that Pes couldn't necessarily, you know, know that yo you're still opening the pack to get Ronald. You know, you don't just um, write on a piece of paper and say uh, Konami, I want Ronald. You know, and they purposely, you know, no. It's not like they can listen to your phone screen or anything. That would be pretty concerning. On the other hand, what if it was actually scripted? What if Konami gives you players every once in a while just to keep you in the game? That is the unsolved mystery of the Iconic Moment Packs.